In this video, I'm going to be doing a shoe review, a test out, a test review of the Asics, Asics, uh, Gel Kanaku 3, which is a, a decathlon only, or uh, is only sold in decathlon. If you go into the uh, Asics website, uh, you won't see the Kanaku 3. This is a trail running shoe um, that uh, we'll do a quick review of. So. I have actually been using these for a wee while and uh, I am very much enjoying them. Um, they, I, I had the previous versions which was the Kanaku 2s and I can't really tell much of a difference here. However, I am having a little bit of a blister issue on one foot just in the corner here. So that has been a slight irritation. I wonder if that is just a, a wearing in, a rubbing in uh, kind of situation. I can't feel anything that would cause that in the shoe, um, but it has been something which is different from my previous shoes. Uh, details about the shoe. So uh, weight wise, it's under 300 grams for them. And uh, there's a 10 millimeter drop from the heel to the front. So if you want to do kind of a, a was it no drop shoes or anything, this one's got quite a big drop, uh, 10 millimeters from front and uh, from back to the front. It's got the uh, a ring at the back here, fills with gel, uh, so they say, um, for extra comfort in your heel. But again, if you're doing trail running, you're more likely to be going a little bit uphill and going on the front of this. The uh, the lugs, as I, uh, the lugs, these bits, the bits that come out, are only four millimeters. They're not particularly deep. They're not particularly. Um, it's not going to be great on mud. Yep, not gripping on that. Mind you, I don't think anything can grip on that. Whoa! Uh, put it that way. This is more for maybe your flat trails, maybe your slightly stony trails. But if you're going to be running through mud and getting lots of mud on it, you're going to be slipping uh, on these. These are for like your dry trail shoes. Uh, kind of what I'm going to go running on just now. I'll show you the kind of um, the kind of surface which I think these are good on, and also the surface which these aren't good on, which are a wee bit slippy on. This kind of ground, I would say. It's pretty good. A wee bit muddy, but not deep mud. Just a nice little path. Even this type of ground, this type of ground, stones. But then, when it becomes a bit muddy, this is probably the limits of where I would take these shoes. And um, so yeah, uh, I think if there was, there are other uh, Asics for trail, Asics has quite a lot of uh, trail running shoes, which are really good. Um, and they have deeper lugs, uh, these little bits there. Um, I, I've gone for the quite spectacularly blue uh, color shoe. I don't know if this camera's picking up quite how blue it is, but it, uh, let, let's just say not work appropriate <laughs> if you're wearing these. These are definitely, you're not gonna be wearing them into work and people are gonna see how bright these are. These are particularly bright with a bit of orange on them, even with their uh, blue and orange uh, laces. I don't mind that cause I'm just gonna be running in a hill. Uh, I'm not looking to unimpress people out there. Um, but in comparison to my normal work shoes, my normal work shoes are kind of dark blue. Dark blue, if we can, if we can see the difference, uh, quite, quite a brightness difference going on there. Price wise when they first came out they're around about the 70 pounds, uh, 70 pounds British money, um, but uh, they do get discounted whenever they're coming near uh, the end of their their color season um, and you can get them for around about 45, 50 pounds. So you're saving 15, 20, 25 pounds um, depending on what, if you buy them kind of at the end of their season. Usually if you buy them in winter time, they'll be a little bit uh, cheaper from Decathlon. D generally Decathlon have a fairly good uh, price uh, on all their shoes. Um, one day I will try and buy a very expensive pair of Asics, but it's kind of the case of why buy an expensive pair when 40, 50 pounds worth of shoes does the job fantastically. Ah. 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 
For me, uh, they are nice and wide, uh, very wide toe box and uh, fairly good support around the heel here, but that isn't, uh, it's not a rubby support, it doesn't rub against you at all, um, but good support around the heel, around the, the top of the foot um, and quite a wide toe box. So for me, um, the reason why I go for these shoes, I keep on looking at Salomon shoes, Salomon trail running shoes, and I think, those look so cool. They have massive lugs coming out the bottom of them, like seven millimeters or something. I'm like, wow, that looks like that I could grip up anything. And I try them on and they're always so narrow. But here, I don't know if, if we can get the brightness here. Here, it's just so wide and deep. So if you're somebody who does a bit of barefoot running like myself and you like the feeling of uh, wide, wideness, uh, <laughs> uh, then uh, Asics are the ones that I, I go for. And, and I. I go into the shop and I try on all the alternative ones and just narrow, if they feel narrow whenever you put them on uh, in the shop, when you're going to be running up a, a, a mountain and that narrowness starts squeezing in on your foot, that's just going to get more and more irritating, potentially painful, potentially not helping you run up the hill. So I like these to be nice and wide, but yet the Although wide at the front, which is probably why I'm having a wee bit of a rub actually, it depends on which socks that I'm wearing, but uh, not too wide at the heel, so my heel's not popping out at the back. However, they've they've curved the, the heel shape here, it uh, works pretty well with my, with my foot so that it's not slipping out. And I usually, I generally wear these with, uh, with business socks um, instead of like thick hill walking running socks. So maybe, yeah, maybe business socks aren't really the best for trail running, but it works, so why change? When it gets to the really steep stuff, talking about the 18, 20, 25 degree, or in this case, 45 degrees. <laughs> um, when it gets to that steepness, the, because they're, the lugs are only four mils, if it's wet, muddy, I don't think you're really gonna grip onto much. So you're gonna have to really be on your toes and trying to dig in for some ruts, like what we've got here. Yep, not gripping on that. Mind you, I don't think anything can grip on that. Whoa! I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> okay, try again. Yes, needing definitely hit the ruts. Ah. So with the four millimeters of lugs, the think of it as the depth of the mud that you can run on is four mils on the flat slight incline. Um, but when it gets to a steeper incline, think of it as like, it's just a sliver of mud that you can go on. Like just now, I'm on maybe five, six mils of mud here. Um, and this is proving a wee bit slippy, but it's not too steep at the moment. But this next bit, a little deeper mud, avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. Um, got quite good lateral grip these shoes. So if you're on a slope on the sideways, uh, you, you're, it's quite good grip at the side of the shoes, which is, which is handy. <sighs> I probably can't hear myself, but another thing to talk about is waterproofness. There's very little to no uh, waterproofing in these shoes. So you will want to be jumping over the puddles. Um, and uh, even like, uh, ah! oh, pause. even like soggy, muddy puddles, uh, if they're gonna go on the top of your shoe, on the upper, uh, you're gonna get wet feet. Um, water gets in the side bits there, definitely in there, in there, and uh, on the outside, definitely in there, and there and there. So if you're going in any puddle <laughs> deeper than that, you're gonna, Feel the water pretty quickly uh, inside your shoes. So there's definitely more the dry weather trail running shoes. Ugh. Ugh! 
Good. Uh, oh. uh, that was a good 10k of uh, hill running. Uh, good, nice and uh, nice and muddy uh, there. Um, so yeah, in terms of uh, waterproofness, um, not really. Just uh, a lot of good ventilation is another way to put it. Uh, so um, feet don't get too sweaty. So it'll be good. The, these, I would say, the gel uh, kanukus, kanakus even. Uh, definitely dry weather, summer trail running, uh, I think this would be best. Um, again, once you get above the 10 degrees incline, um, the the four millimeter lugs just aren't quite deep enough uh, for getting enough grip. Um, and if you're running through any water, uh, it, water definitely gets into the shoes. Um, and if you're running on any mud, uh, the the pattern, although looks cool, uh, not the grippiest uh, on uphill mud running. Uh, on the downhill, it wasn't too bad, um, uh, but uh, yeah, I think on the downhill the grip seems to be a little bit better um, on the slight uh, decline, uh, but on the uphill it seems a little bit slippier uh, for these. But yeah, if you're going to be doing, uh, they're fairly light weight. If you're going to be doing trail running um, over fairly dry maybe just small stones uh, ground or very light, you know, small amount of mud uh, on a dry day. These are these are uh, very good value if you're getting them for under 50 pounds. Uh, comfort wise, nice and comfy, comfy in all the right places, wide toe box, uh, so if you've got wide feet or you just like to have your feet uh, at the front feeling good. And again, for me, even in, you can see that, like, these are my, they say Monday, it's not, it's Sunday. Uh, <laughs> business socks. Um, then uh, then they, they weren't slipping out of the heel. So that's, that's kind of the main importance thing. So otherwise, good value. Uh.